Country. We showed you a minute ago how uh, just this morning KTVU's Claudine Wong has arrived at Pixar in Emeryville. She is everywhere today. Yeah. The Incredibles 2 is in theaters today and people all over the Bay Area are getting in the superhero based action. Claudine has more now on one of the women who worked on the movie. Claudine? Yes, really just an incredible thing when you think about Incredibles 2 coming out and that it's been 14 years since the first one. And then they're tasked with recreating and kind of picking up really where this family left off. I'm joined by Fran Kalal, who is the, I've got to look up your title because it's very official. You are the character tailoring lead. And as we were just talking about, someone designs these costumes and then you digitally stitch everything together, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I lead the team of people that takes what we know about art and fashion to build the costumes and what we know about math and science to make the costumes move and perform. So very cool technically and, and, and when it comes to a movie like this, I mean I was talking about how a kid who's 13 years old wasn't even born when the first one came in, but because this movie kind of picks up where it left, saw, left off and because so many now multi-generations are looking to see what happens with these characters, how do you do that when you are trying to make it seamless <laughs> in, your, in your tailoring? So we looked at the first film because we didn't want to start in a completely different world. We've had a lot of advances in our technology. We have an amazing tools and research team that's been supporting us in the last 14 years, and we can do so much more. But we still wanted to be faithful to the look of the first film. So we were constantly looking at those frames of the first film to make sure we were still making these characters and costumes recognizable, but taking advantages of all the great achievements that we've had in the past. Yeah, and you said there's about 100 different costumes that you've put together. And in terms of, I'm, I'm curious, because 14 years ago, I don't think you were here yet, correct? <laughs> and you were still kind of up and coming in your career. And now when you look at what, in 14 years from now, <laughs> really, if it takes that long for Incredibles 3 to come out, really how much things will change but really stay the same? I can only imagine what's to come <laughs> in the future. I. I'm so impressed with how much stronger our simulator has become. Uh, our collisions are so much better. We can have more layers of fabric on top of each other. And our tools are more interactive. And any time an artist's tools are more interactive, you can make choices on the fly. You can improvise. And it really empowers you to be part of the creative process. So this movie, for people who haven't you know, read the synopsis, that it picks up where it lets off. And Elastigirl is a very empowered mom, working mom, kind of takes the lead. And she really takes off. And dad's left behind kind of wondering what his role in all of this is. Tell me about your favorite parts of the movie. And really, does it surprise you that 18.5 million in preview night, it's really already smashing records? I love this film. I took this role uh, as a new mom, a very new mom. And so to me, the scene where Elastigirl is on her bike doing something amazing and her kid calls asking about where his high tops are, that to me epitomizes how amazing she is. She's balancing her work life and her family life while she's being heroic really on both sides. And she's such a role model to me and I hope she's a role model to a lot of other women out there. Very inspiring. And you've been a role model to these new designers at the Academy of Art. I know you want to speak to them and we've got some of them with us uh, because you inspired them to say hey if this was your job and if their task maybe with creating some costumes in the next superhero movie maybe one day at Pixar mm -hmm. What is what did you task them with and what did you challenge them with? So their task was to design a superhero costume inspired by Incredibles 2. Not to use our characters, but to come up with their own characters and their own costumes. Okay, so we're going to take the camera off the tripod really quickly and we're going to walk over to kind of show you uh, what we're going to do. And we've gone, I'm going to go really quickly through everyone and we're going to start on this side so you can kind of see what they came up with. First, we've got Sift, Empathic Mimicry, and next to her... We've got this costume in white here for Prism. Prism can manipulate light. Then we've got Static Girl over here with the, her costume here, a school girl who has electric powers similar to Dash. Remember, these are supposed to be inspired by the characters from Incredibles. And then Laundry Man. we got a little figure over here for Laundry Man. Protects the environment from pollution and uh, sticks the bad guys in laundry bags and cleans them all up. Marley is a super cat. And uh, <laughs> the funny thing about this cat, it's really just using its superpowers to be petted and get treats because uh, that's, that's what cats want. Super Grandma. This was inspired by If... If Mr. Incredible had a mom, who would it be like? Well, Super Grandma, who's a chameleon. She's got some eagle eyesight there. You got Shade behind her. Shade manipulates powers and weaknesses. And then our last superhero has yet to be named. 
We didn't want to give her a name too soon, but she can breathe underwater, has fins, and this is similar to what maybe her costume would look like. I had asked you, Fran. Oh, and we have this one here, and this one is the specter. She is blind and can manipulate shadows and melt into them to sort of feel all very all very cool and Fran, what is your thought on how they did i'm so inspired and proud of these gals they're just amazing all right well perfect so if in 14 years it takes that long hopefully it doesn't take <laughs> that long for the next one maybe you'll have some people working on your team thank you thank you so much thank for talking you. with us and uh i haven't seen incredibles too i didn't make it to preview night last night and i think yeah. the theaters will be awfully crowded this weekend yeah well the first one made 633 million i bet this one does even better and bring laundry man back would you okay yeah the request has been put in